Every two hours, my cat paws me. Every two hours. Well, the act itself is adorable, the timing is often annoying as heck. Really, why I keep my door closed when I stream it at night. This guy loves me a heck of a lot to the point that I find it a bit annoying. But at least until someday, I've got to keep my door open. really comfortable in here. Well, it seems like maybe 90%, 95% healed. I have to be sure he's recovered fully before I can seal off the Holy Lands. enough massaging his neck. Right. this building before. Okay, it's floor above. My cat is still here. He's really fond of my cell, at the very least. So he'll eat things just because they have my scent on them. We also have to give him, what was it? Thyroid medication? Each day? He's an old cat. He's got thyroid cancer. So give him some meds to prevent that. At least subdue it. He doesn't like the smell of pill at all. He will not eat it. You have to shove it down his throat. So we put it inside some other foods. And there is this thing called pill pockets that's, you know, just cat food but it's hollowed out inside. So you can insert a pill in a pocket. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. And he sometimes is not interested in eating that stuff until I rub my fingers all over it. And... wait a minute. You guys are not our arms dealer. You wanna buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? Okay. Give me info. Oh, that's some high damage output. Very low on the upgrades, though.
Okay. Then we got the rocket launcher. There's a crossbow. And a regular sniper, but I don't really want that. 10 mil's fine by me. Oh, look at that crossbow. Completely silent, long range lethal weapon. <laughs> nice one. Oh. Oh, my cat just popped me again. What does he want? Looks like stream quality is still unstable today. Ah, oh, that's a nice way he have tart. Ah, oh, rocket launcher. I'm not sure I'll get to play tonight given how demanding my cat is being right now. Seeking, what was that for? Combat rifle and machine pistol. Ooh. That's actually worth getting. That upgrade. It's not too expensive either. Okay, I'll need to buy one though. He's just sitting here next to me. I'm not entirely sure what he wants, though. Okay, he's starting to pace away. Looks like if I pet him enough, he'll go away. And that is what happened. I forgot I was selling things, not buying. I'm like, wow, this is all stuff I want. <laughs> this is all the stuff I have. See ya. Alright, target seeking. And then we combine that with 10 mil. All right, max rate of fire. Damage output's still lacking, though. Still, though, that gets... Damn, man, that's kind of redundant when you got target-seeking rounds.
Also, given the, how often it's hit zero bit rate already, I'm gonna. Yeah, I can't keep the door closed, can I? That's super unfortunate. Oh, that's a dealer too. All right, get off of that and then read them from memory because memory pauses. Central would like to reward you for being one of our biggest and most reliable sellers by adding a few extra items to your current catalog. These exclusive items are of a more specialized variety. If you find a market for them, order as much as you like. I need to remind you, not everyone earns the trust which access these items implies. We've had the extra gear deployed in our usual storage locker near the apartment. Congratulations and keep up the good work. As always, regular like clockwork, we want you to know it's appreciated. It shows the proper professionalism and respect. You know, some of our other franchises have been having more trouble than usual with the police in the form of unwelcome attention, attention which is keeping the more casual customers away. If you notice know, anything like that in your location, please let us know ASAP. Alright, nobody can see me from here, so that's fine. Looks like an ebook to me. Yes, that is an ebook. I was a pocket secretary, I'd have to go nab it to see if it has a passcode, but just an ebook, it's fine. Cannot take that, so. Alright. That's my path. Jesus, that's fast. Mentioned something in your deterrent in the storage locker. The system will be up and running in a few minutes. Be sure your stuff, so be careful. For increased security, I'll change the code to the locker itself. Storage locker code 1904, security system code 6542. If you're doing business with you, take care. Wonder where this locker is. Either way, good stuff. Good stuff. Now 
Either I can walk right out, because it's able to walk right in. Or... Close the door. Where I'm over here, and as he walks away, I walk out. Nothing wrong with that, you know? Okay. Oh, I can take... No, I can't. I can't take it. Okay. Access granted. There's still a gray arrow around here. Not sure what that is. Alright, against violence, now it's a concert for peace. Of course. be very hard to read things with that guy blaring on the radio. This is a really freaking complex looking at a glance anyways. Fucking Christ, that was fast. Scan your questions and insinuations are both ill founded and inflammatory. You have been officially advised about this in the past. Sadly, I must inform you that an official harassment complaint has been filed. Do not alter your current behavior. I'm afraid you will be forced to settle this matter in the courts. Uh, Philip Riley, may you please read and pass on? For God's sake, Laura, please just stop sending me those stupid emails of yours before I wind up on a watch list or something. You know I don't care about your crazy theories anyway. Zubin and I are working things out. The last goddamn thing we need is for the police to show up at his office again because of you. If you can't write to me about normal things, don't write at all. This is... This is Miss Fail. Okay. Tension. He presents you a comfortable business. Oh, this is the fucking Nigerian CEO scam. Is there really anything to here, though? Is 
Actually, not much. Okay, put this back in. Very. There we go. That's as good as it's going to get. Alright, so the guy I need to talk to is on this floor. So we're going to ignore this floor for a bit. Down here, so, oh. Oh. Wait a minute, that locker, is it like right next to him or something? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Is there really anything I could sell though? Hmm. I also got a laser dot on a suppressor. Okay. And this thing has what? So this thing has RR piercing, which is just by default. Well, this thing has homing rounds, homing fletchet rounds, they say. So I'm wondering what that does to the damage output. Probably can't score headshots with it, but I'm not sure headshots are really the main goal when I use this. Or so the running gun approach. Does that stay active? It does not stay active through weapon swap. That is good to know. Our windows that way. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's put the gray arrow over there. Actually, no. We're in close enough quarters, I think. I think this'll do. frame again. I think I ought to be cautious like that. Alright. Oh, this may not make it in time. CP? How does MCB mean? I feel if I read stuff a bit more, I might know what MCP means and know what's up with these guys, but just seem like some tweens that are looking for a battle against the government, man. It's all about going against the system, man. Mm, 
Oh, wait, actually. I got space now. I could sell this shit. So I have access to a cellar. So I don't need... I don't need to be stingy. Oh, that's unpleasant. This is what I got. And this is what I got. Alright. Uh, I may abandon the stun gun. And so much it's not worth much, never mind. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll hold on to that. Sell the drink darts. Sell the shotgun. Don't want your double barrel. I am Crossbow and the rocket launcher interest me, but I could probably take up a lot of space. And the crossbow I'd have to buy ammo for, so it'd be expensive. So you get lock on and reload speed, and that's all I can really upgrade it with. Sniper, I think, was just a red dot, right? Yeah, red dot and some stat upgrades. Crossbow is a bit of reload speed, small damage output. And lead fire. There's a machine pistol, which is like the first gun. I'm just like, yeah, I could use this, but the damage output's absolutely abysmal on it. Not recommend. If the enemies are unarmored, machine pistol does wonders, but if they are armored, it, it does nothing. It tickles them. Speed target system for rocket launcher, target leading for crossbow, and that is it. A target leading. Yeah, for the crossbow. Didn't he have two kits for the... Hmm. Might be a bug. Rocket, stun gun, crossbow, sniper, combat rifle, machine pistol. No 10 mil rounds, though. Ain't that neat. Well, I'm okay, fine with that. Alright, that's fine. I'm fine. Pretty much made back most of what I spent on him. At least I think I did. sake <laughs> they won't because i gave them the wrong code yeah that's right asshole what now tough guy you gonna shoot me again nope machine pistol Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the... flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a... a trauma kit I keep. Somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No! No time! The... they could be back. Any minute. Find the kit, quickly. If you want answers.
All right. I ain't talking with without something to kill the pain, asshole. I'll be back. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. I have to fight with full silence. The stun gun with its whimsy reload time is not gonna work. Ah, there it is. Stun gun darts. Cushion grenade. Ooh, cushion grenade. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus, the pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Sarif got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarif. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Sarif had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't, you don't know. Your parents, your, your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all, I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley, behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows, Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. All right, what's your code, though? Fuck you, robot. This this is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. Morphine. Or go fuck yourself. Focus, Radford. Ah, that hit the spot. I think I could get used to this stuff. Hey. I'm feeling a little more talkative already, robot. Radford, I know you're in a lot of pain, but it's important you give me as many details as you can. There's a storage unit in the alley next to the bank near the police department. That's where the suits are headed. I tried, didn't give them anything. There's a safe. It has what you want. It'll get you to her. It'll lead you to her, to Michelle. The safe, they don't have the, the right combination. Four, zero, six, two. Remember. That's what I want. Why did Seraph stop the investigation? You said he was spooked. What spooked him? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. <laughs> Hell, even I don't. I still don't believe it. You believe in ghosts, Jensen? Seraph was spooked by ghosts. Close enough. Illuminati. <laughs> Conspiracies, theories, it's all bullshit. But you stink of it, Jensen. Enough to have your boss one of the most powerful men in the world. Look away. <clears throat> You're a ghost. A fucking tragedy. Everything you touch, everything that touches you, dies. That's a bit hyperbolic. You mentioned someone named Michelle. Who's Michelle? <laughs> Your guardian angel. Who is she? Tell me. Do robots believe... 
Do robots even believe in angels? Or did they take that out of you? Did they take that away? You know, your soul, when they built you? <laughs> Tell me, what was it like when you died, Jensen? I know you're in a lot of pain, and the morphine is just find her before they do. You, you owe her that much. Now I have questions about Jensen. I mean, he's either talking about the reconstruction surgery at the beginning, or even before then, and Jensen might be an artificial human. A bit cooler, and a bit more conspiracy theory if it was the latter, but it could just be the former. Who did this to you? Guys in suits. One of them, David or Daniel, something like that, British accent. He was in charge. Talked about a Mr... Mr. Gray. They were in a, a hurry. Four of them. Not counting the one they left behind. Well armed, disciplined. I, I didn't stand a chance. Maybe that metal corpse you call a body will do better than mine did. What were they looking for? You, robot. They wanted my information on you. Someone powerful has their eyes on you and is very interested in your past. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know... What a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm going to get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Look, dude, I don't think I really owe you, given I just met you. I mean, I was going to hack the safe if you didn't give me the code, so I'm not too bothered by that. But I'll still give him the morphine ultimately, because I prefer being a good person over an evil one. Why do you hate augmentation so much? Because it ain't right. You can't... You can't go changing the way things are. You can't replace the real thing with an, an imitation. It ain't right. It ain't... Natural. It can save your life. No, you lose more than what gets left behind in the chopping block. You should know this by now. Uh. I understand. But technology, it's different now. It can help you. You could still live a normal life. A normal life? What would you know about a normal life? Did technology really help you, Jensen? I think... I think it made you a monster. Sarath didn't give you your life back. He just made you better at taking it away from others. This might be paying homage to the fact that I've been killing guys. Instead of doing non-lethal. Who knows? Is this what you really want? There's a bear... Pope in the woods? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I fucked that one up. Listen, robot. If I could do it myself, I would. I got no family left. No one left to mourn. It's for the best. I ain't gonna be no burden on society. Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it.
Now nah, let him be. It'll be quick. I know. You, you did a good thing. Here, the ones that did this. I'll find them. Look at you. An iron g g giant with a heart of g g gold. B b b but don't do do it f for me. D d do it f f for her. For m m Michelle. You owe her here life. Cool, those eyes actually stayed open. Hello, Mr. Radford. I am contacting you in regards to your new storage unit in order to remind you of the upcoming lease renewal payment. You recently acquired our reapproved credit plans, and we would like to follow up on some accounting matters. Please respond at your nearest convenience when we discuss your options further. Yeah, I bring up the Okay, that, right, that guy's knocked out. Oh, wait. Pick that up now. I've had a full inventory for so long. I have to remind myself I can pick stuff up to sell for later. Yeah, I bring up the open eyes thing because your eyes don't naturally close when you die, but pay attention in movies, I think older movies, and even some video game scenes, because they imitate movies, eyes close when they die. It's not. So, I'm just thinking props on the dev for actually keeping his eyes open when he dies. Although, his eyes closing, I'm not sure how a death by morphine is like, but I assume it's a bit like you know, getting knocked out, so I would have believed eyes closed there, too. Take a look. After selling the machine pistol, I just can't help but think maybe he had a little bit of machine pistol ammo on him. Should get me just a little bit more credits. Nah, nothing. I'm wondering where that weapon cache is, Richard, though. I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. You have a new lead, at least? Yeah. I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more. Alright, storage locker nearby. I don't know. No, maybe that was... I remember there being like a side street garage I popped in at some point. I forget if it was here in Detroit or if it was back in China though. Oh wait, that seems like I have a practice point. I do! Alright. Now what? Uh, yeah. A lot of early English dubs did a lot of revisions just to try and make things uh, more, I guess, Americanized. Like, I, one thing I remember was in One Piece, whatever the heck that tri wielding swordsman they got in the main cast actually smoked cigarettes, but they changed it to a lollipop. It's just holding the wrong way in the American dub. Invisible guns. I kind of want cloaking right now. 
not gonna lie. But also X-ray vision is cool. Also stealth enhancer sounds nice. Implanter rebreather would be good too. Oh, I'll get the implanter rebreather. I have like I mean stamina's still shit, but at least the run speed ain't shit too. Yeah, I think it was here. Alright. How do I you can no longer tell the difference between the truth and their lies? How's the foul? Oh gosh. That wasn't good. You wait for death to save you? I promise you, you learn to fear. Well, <laughs> rip me. That's why I want a rebreather. Oh boy. Need suppress sniper. Can't upgrade damage output. Mm, similar to a 10 mil. Which already has suppressor and armor piercing, so that's this is right out. <laughs> when you're about Alabama. <laughs> uh, so true. Decently long sprint time would be nice. I mean, it wouldn't help with the stealth aspect, which I also want things to help me with at this point. I feel like the game's kind of expecting me to have some of these tools by now. How may I be of service? Uh, right here we are. Ooh, Praxis kit, although I don't think I have another one to buy at the moment. Always a pleasure. Wait a minute, does he have upgrades? How may I be of so? Pep suppress, trunk rifle, heavy rifle, shotgun, revolver. Uh-huh. Target leading system, cooling system, burst round, exploding rounds package, armor piercing, which is for ten mil. Okay. Always a pleasure. So now I get to go to Lim and see if I have a practice kit. Oh, I barely remember Sailor Moon. Remember the pretty colors and a little bit of the transformation sequence. But man, that was when I was very young that I saw Sailor Moon. Will you be purchasing anything today? Got a Praxis kit? Nah. Okay. Well, maybe next time. See you then. Got any more of them skill points? I could jack my HP up now, because if not for that, I would have been dead, given how I kind of fumbled my way out of there. Kind of don't want to, just because that doesn't regen, and that's just eating up my limited supplies. I think I'm going to go to 175 right now. 
I don't know, I can go up to 200, because I hypo him. Got two of those, thankfully. But I'll have zero if I jack it up, so... Mm. Hmm. Anyhow. I'll uh, wait for the next point and then get the rebreather. Again, I I feel like really like I should be doing some stealth enhancements, like cloak. Come out. Well, I moved too far in. <laughs> Let me just do that and see if I can reset. Eh, I'll stay as is. Okay, here's my question. Pick up heavy objects, right? What? Very glad I have journal armor. It's a lot of yellows. And one of those guys just went flying. Burning a copy of Mr. Ray's travel itinerary, it's imperative you extract information concerning his interests with the utmost discretion. You can't afford to tip off the target or Seraph. I entrust you'll exercise due diligence on this matter. Be done before Mr. Ray reaches Detroit. Bradford. Oh, I might get this stuff first, I suppose. Destroys White Helix Lab, Twisted Cider, Michigan, at 0436 on July 18th. Firefighters were called to White Helix Labs to fight in an early morning blaze. By the time they arrived, the main building was already engulfed in flames. General Manager Michelle Bears could not be reached for comment, but a pre recorded message had been left on White Helix Labs' toll free line stating that nobody is believed to have been hurt in the fire. The message was later removed when firefighters began pulling bodies from the wreckage. The recovery operations are currently ongoing. The fire chief, Minnie Hawking, sold reporters, but also stated that the circumstances behind the blaze are very suspicious. But Helix Labs, a subsidiary of Area Versa Life, is a bio research firm studying childhood genetic diseases. How's up with the photographs? Look at this graph. Ah, here we are. You by Sarah, this corporate passport contains biometric information that can be used to authenticate your identity when traveling abroad. When all security mechanisms are properly implemented, it is virtually impossible to forge.
collection of pictures from your childhood. Oh, I can. Oh, this is good. This is very, very good. Access granted. All right, let's get work, Brent. Keep it up. Fuller, but I can copy at least not yet. Blah blah blah. First little nugget I gleamed off the PC it remains. View or X view. I was hoping to get more, but some nuclear snake was hounding my trace and I had to jump networks. When I tried to reconnect, my tunnel was caved. Whoever that was, they're good. I'm not gonna risk going back in anytime soon. P.S. Consider my debt paid. This is the last time I do a job without the money up front. Hey Megan, I know you had some questions about the files I sent. Sorry about all where I Sorry about all graphs earlier, but that sample was nothing short of groundbreaking, and I got excited. I don't suppose you could tell me where you got it? The short answer to the original breakdown I sent is this. Yes. The DNA samples are remarkable. We were unbelievably lucky to catch the reason why. I've been working with Versa Life's new chaos model geo genomic matrix, which is trying to apply fractal mathematics to the study of genetic mutation. In essence, we've been trying to predict the future of human evolution using past mutations stored in the database of our mitochondria, which is passed uninterpreted from ancestral Eve through our mothers, gives us an accurate universal roadmap for our common past. The thing is, the sample you sent fits one of our evolutionary models of the future. We're talking about someone who is ahead of the genetic curve by one step, maybe two. Do you know what this could mean for Manson alone? You have a living, breathing Nobel Prize in your hands. The thing is, I can't tell you if this is a natural evolution or something done to the mother while the baby was in vitro, but I do know that this person's mother had no such mutations. The mitochondria don't lie. I had a friend at the GeneView Labs run the test off the of records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? It surprised me. Let her stare up, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Bradford, I strongly advise you not to. I've heard enough, and I'll have nothing to do with White Helix. The less I know, the better, and I would advise you to follow suit. In fact, consider your contractual obligations fulfilled. This investigation is over. I'll get in touch to organize the rendering and payment of, your, of bills for your service. I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm going to start digging around for some more info on this White Helix Labs. It'll lead to a big break in the case behind our mysterious boy wonder. It's an easy find back traced some of Margie and Arthur Jensen's past through their medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned blah blah blah. Alright, oh, yeah, right there back in the office. Maybe a tip for you on that case you're working. There's a woman named Michelle Walters. She works at that lab you mentioned, White Helix. She was a nurse and good friends with the Jensens, particularly Arthur. She's living in Detroit now in Brooklyn Court. Just one problem, according to my initial probes, she's senile. They've always had a way with the ladies. Maybe you can coax some information from her. Ah, let's dispose of the bodies then. Or leave from here, I don't know. gas station cellar.
What's your pleasure, friend? So. Ah, yes. Revolver. This thing can hit a lot, can't it? No suppressor, though, of course. Always a pleasure. And double check. That's not inventory. Oh, yeah, put that there. Some guns there. That yeah, seems good. I'm still not comfortable enough with the controls for fast movement. Still make some mistakes. Especially when I'm rushing a guy. Like, I I don't sprint so much because the sprint was so bad that I don't remember I have a sprint in crucial moments. If I was rushing that guy earlier to knock him out, I actually uh, didn't sprint because yeah, I forgot I had sprint. So I end up kind of crouch walking towards him and that's that's not good. Oh, I know the Ray Breather won't help me with stealth. It should hopefully be of use to me in getting me to actually move faster. Ah, uh, hi. Don't feel like robbing your apartment blind with you inside of it. Doesn't feel not right. Did I leave my door open? Wait. You're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome. Meals. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam. When he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies the gene therapy they went through, but Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. But Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. 
Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Rolling Mills people going to get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and... Well, Miss... Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. 200 credits. Wow. Pritchard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters, Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's family, but she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I know we just had a nice chat with an old, kind old lady. But I really do want to see if there are some apartments I can rob. I think I was so hesitant the first time I came in here. Now look at me. True burglar. Good golly gosh. All right, that should be fine. Access granted. I really am tempted to go further into her apartment, but I really don't want to do that to her. It's curiosity versus morals, and curiosity kind of has the edge right now. Oh, cur oh, I still can't take their mainframe. Mm. Access granted. So we finally moved in, huh? They broke any of your stuff? Just let me know when they hook up your internet. I'll come and give you a hand with everything. This is an apartment of somebody with actually no shady past, huh? Nothing shady or special going on, that's just a guy moving in here. Just stole from, alright. Got a candy bar. This is 
still a place with a tier five, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, so apparently the incest is more acceptable to the American populace than lesbianism. That's... that's something to swallow. Sorry, lesbian incest is more palatable than just lesbianism. Huh. Yeah, I guess it is Alabama after all. I really want, like, some more practice points to gun operate kits, because, oh my gosh. <sighs> Does that guy have some 10 mil ammo? Uh, hopefully he's got some 10 mil ammo. What'll you do not have 10 mil. got that thing's allied with me. I mean, I, I still haven't fought one of these freaking quadruped tanks yet. I don't wanna. I have a feeling at some point I will, but I really don't wanna. Make sure I can kind of tank small arms fire now, but like heavy arms fire, that ain't working. That is not working out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's something I get from Limb Clinic, maybe. So I think the Loom Clinic might sell painkillers. Luckily, it should be right here. Also, I might just go talk to Pritchard to Seraph, but I don't know. Might not be a good idea right now with the riots and all. It's Typhoon and Cyber Boost, dang well, maybe next. Hold up. Restricted area, you say? I am so tempted to go down here. That's not for the time being, however. VIP pass, right? Because they'll do things the sneaky snake way, but who knows? These literally just connect the bathrooms or what? Somebody left a lot of cash lying around. Uh, yeah, I'll hold off on that, because I just got some stuff to sell. Seriously, Alyssa, did you ever use the machine pistol? It's like, I get it, if it's against an unarmored, squishy target, machine pistol does alright with a high rate of fire, but like, even a little bit of armor 
which nearly every single enemy in the game has had. And that thing does diddly quits. I'm wondering if you ever found it useful. Be sure to tell all your friends. It's just not the cops. <laughs> oh yeah, and also I'm definitely gonna have to pre-code a lot for that mod. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to ponder how I do every single function before I actually get to coding it. Which is something I haven't really done before. Just never had to write programs this big. I mean, winging it worked so far. It caused me a couple of issues, but nothing, nothing I couldn't get past, but dang, pre codings probably shave off a lot of, a lot of stuff. Oh, it's 2148. It's four or five minutes left. Interesting. Why does it feel like this place is. This escalator has broken down to speak. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking at Tell me about it. Now, with all the damage out there. I thought we're gonna see any increase in funky anytime soon. Looks like the only thing escalating are those damn riots. This whole thing is so weird. Say that again. I know you probably don't agree with what Mr. Taggart has to say, but you can't deny that he's a powerful speaker. Mm. Okay, can't go that way. At least I shouldn't go that way. It's a weird way to guide the player. Like, instead of environmentally saying, no, you can't go that way or whatever, you do that. It's like a big ass. Probably an obvious augmentation, though. You guys already know my view on augmentations, though. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, if I go to gen genocide route one playthrough, that'd be neat. Toss to have spoken. Yeah. Backstage area is completely blocked off. Even the janitor can't get back there now. What about the airman? You're kidding, right? Have you seen the size of those vents? You expect a contortionist or midget that's gonna try to assassinate Taggart? Don't get smart. Dude, I can craft those vents. Uh, but I guess I'm the one who can. Muffle through the wall, that's actually good. Sounds like an actual convention center now. Alright, what's there here? Flips? What the hell? They, wait, are they using the mirrors for ad space? Oh gosh, they are. I mean, of course, I saw all the weird stuff on the mirrors before, but I didn't realize until just now those were ads. Shouldn't be here. 
Yes, sir. All right. that uh, more vents okay do I need to go this way probably not I do have a vip pass don't I Okay, I won't hop out there just yet, but like... Uh, I'll try going through like the normal channels before I fully commit to the vents. Actually, let's open that up so I remember. just here to listen, although Mr. Taggart is done with his speech already. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped. And Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Serif and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Serif scientists are alive. And it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front. And you are our prime suspect. Ooh. Oh, okay. To either discredit or confront. You got a lot of nerve to accuse me of lying. I'm not the one standing in front of a crowd of people hiding my involvement in kidnapping and murder. My involvement, Mr. Jensen? Your recording doesn't prove that. My heart goes out to you. Perhaps it's best that you came to me rather than bringing this recording to the police. You need it to be some kind of proof because you're still suffering. You're trying to find someone else to blame for the emotional trauma you experienced when you woke up from that surgery and discovered you were no longer quite human.
Yeah, huh? The reason I'm obsessed with the past Taggart is that there are still five people missing and their attackers haven't paid for what they did. Your refusal to help me is getting in the way of justice. Well, of course, justice is very important to me, naturally. What I question is whether or not you're on the right path to find it. If you could see your situation clearly, you would realize you're being driven by your losses. Your actions are motivated by an attempt to regain a sense of control at my expense. You're turning me into your enemy when I'm not. Way to reject me. Uh, he seemed most like a beta, though. You claim this evidence of mine is fake, but I'm sure it's not. So sure that I think I'll give it to that reporter down there. His equipment should be able to prove how authentic it is right now, in front of all these cameras. <laughs> oh, very funny, Mr. Jensen. No offense to Pikus, but I very much doubt the equipment they send out with their field reporters is anywhere near as technologically adept as an FBI crime lab. You're trying to bully me into submission, as you no doubt intend to do to Isaiah the minute you find him. Well, I will not stand for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. We will pick this up later after Mr. Jensen has left these premises. Good evening. At least somebody wants to look at me. I have an urge to redo that, but also feel like that would be safe scumming and well, I have safe scum in the past, I am trying to resist that to like play through my mistakes, because that ends up making things more interesting in the long term. Or at least tends to lead towards more towards interesting play. You're forced to adapt on the fly. But, eh. Any idea how long before this reach is over? Not too long now. I'll escort Taggart backstage and you make sure nobody tries to sneak in. I'll take a walk and make sure everyone else is in position. Curious. All right, at 88 in the convention center, so that is a point I could return to for now. All right, first off, attack security. Ooh, I could, I could. That's good. Oh, there's two of them. Frick. Oh, I didn't look closely enough. Access granted. Oh, no robots I could turn again. Oh, hey, a wall I could punch. Sandoval's in Detroit. Hold up in some apartment building on Grand River Road. I'm heading there now. All right. But Adam, try to do it a bit more discreetly this time. Athena's got her hands full, fending off reporters from your last stunning attempt at diplomacy.
Okay, uh, I'm gonna... I actually want to see how the how this could alternatively play out. Third time this escalator has broken down this week. You think they would act oh. Again, what is that? is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. Oh, he's Omega. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Tagger. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first, due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal, that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second, as a result of their violent escalation of today's peace. Yeah, these actually are. David Seraph and his the pheromones are really a gamble, though. And in imminent danger of losing kind of the regulation safer vote, so and this usually man better result has been sent here to attack my gradual, reputation. But... I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against humanity front, and you are. Is that two omega, two suspect. beta? I remember two beta, and I saw three alpha. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction, but it's enough for a search warrant. That's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. My heart goes out to you. Perhaps it's best that you came to me rather than bringing this recording to the police. You need it to be some kind of proof because you're still suffering. You're trying to find someone else to blame for the emotional trauma you experienced when you woke up from that surgery and discovered... You are no longer quite human. Yeah, that's the two beta I saw. You're right. Picking up my life after that surgery was the hardest thing I've ever done. Hell, first time I saw myself in a mirror, I smashed the damn thing. But I've gotten past it, because I know that what I need to do to make things right is help the other victims of that attack. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be insensitive. If you could see your situation clearly, you would realize you're being driven by your losses. Your actions are motivated by an attempt to regain a sense of control at my expense. You're turning me into your enemy when I'm not. I really want to trap the pheromones again, but I'll do a confront. Of course I want control. Every time I touch something, I wonder, just for a second, every time, if what I'm feeling is real. It's a bit like being in charge of an organization, I bet. You always know what the people at Humanity Front, your people, are doing? 
Of course not. Well, that is to say, I don't need to. From the very day I founded Humanity Front, I made it clear that the group would be devoted to non-violent resistance. To deviate from this would mean dishonoring the memory of the very woman whose murder caused me to found the organization. Mr. Jensen, how can you possibly accuse me of doing otherwise? Let's confront. I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me, too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. I can't tell if he's in on her Ladies or not. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient. I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. All right, how do I have to sneak in? Maybe I can loot some stuff. That was really straightforward, though. The footage sparking the riots appears to show scientists performing crude, torture-like experiments on teams of augmented super soldiers. Just minutes ago, Ammo. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's the wall I could punch through. So I got her. Yeah, it wasn't that hard once I saw the psychological profile. I guess it's part of why it's there. Feels like it's too simple to get that much info on somebody, but all right. Pheromones are definitely a gamble, though. If they pay off, they pay off, but maybe not in the way you want. And if they don't, it just terminates the whole thing, so I find it better not to use them. Unless it's a guy that uh, rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, I could have taken that by either discrediting him, or by showing no weakness, and I went no weakness that route. Seems like it got persuasion level up faster that time. I won't take everything. I do want to read the computer, though. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I, I understand, but please try. I genuinely will try, though. I do admit. Now, I am going to save. And then I'm going to load 89. Which I think was the failed attempt, because I want to read those emails. And I'm not... Well... Hold up. I might be able to read it without any kind of real repercussions right now, though.
No, I can't. Okay. Jensen won't know this stuff because he wouldn't have snuck in, but hey. Uh, oh, I don't know if it's a scrub save or not, honestly. Access granted. Sarah, Sandoval's in Detroit. Hold up in some apartment building on Grand River Road. I'm heading there now. All right. But Adam, try to do it a bit more discreetly this time. Athena's got her hands full, fending off reporters from your last stunning attempt at diplomacy. All right. I forgive me, but I will not be able to attend your speech this evening. I'm having something of a family emergency. So my brother's kids are getting out of control, and, well, I'm sure you can appreciate why I need to be available to them. If you need to reach me, I have retired to the apartment I usually use, not far from the Sharon building, Grand River Road. While this is unfortunate, I take consolation the fact that these sacrifices allow us to better do God's work. Mr. Taggart, I don't know if you read all of your mails or if you have people doing this sort of thing for you, but regardless, I hope this message reaches you. Your book, No Better Than Myth of Human Augmentation, changed my life. I use so much as hard for me to express. I've been a really attractive All right. I've ever been a really attractive woman. I'm a bit on the chubby side, and my traits are not those favored by the canons of the time. I always resented my appearance and the way I felt when people looked at me. For years, I obsessed about surgery and augmentations. I never had the money or the courage, but I always dreamed of having the perfect eyes, the perfect face, the perfect arms, and so on and so forth. Discuss it with myself, with this ugly shell I was stuck in. But when I read your book about all this augmentation nonsense, not really being about the bettering of oneself, but rather about indulging in one's self-rejection and self-disgust, really struck a chord. All I wanted to do was poison my body, deform it and pollute it with her foreign elements, elements that are not human, elements that are not me. I'm better now. I've joined a group for people with low self-esteem and I've gotten better. I'm one of your most avid supporters, and I think you are a living legend, someone who will be remembered for hundreds of years to come. And my view on it is if it's a sudden replacement of the entire being of whatever's tied to your consciousness, I whatever holds your consciousness would be what holds the essence of you. And the majority of that's in the brain, but there's some evidence that a part of your consciousness also belongs to things like the heart and the spine, maybe other parts of the body. So, as long as that's not replaced wholesale, at once, then it's still you. As long as it's, you said the ship of Theseus thing we brought up all the way back at the beginning. As long as it's a gradual replacement, then it's still you, because the part that's not you then gets integrated with what of you is left. And then you come to think of it as you, and it kind of becomes comes to house your consciousness and he's gosh I still have a little bit I'm better at saying it but still feel a bit awkward about that I'm not conveying it perfectly but like your consciousness needs time to seep into the new part of you so if you remove everything that is you wholesale and just have a copy that's externally that's you but internally you're you're dead that the old you is indebted and now that's the new you. It's a clone. Which, I mean, ultimately, I think it'd be fine with either. And I say that not because I want to die, but just because if I'm dead, I, I, I can't raise complaints. Like, I we need a consciousness to feel things, so I wouldn't feel bad about it because I can't feel anymore. Which is why I say I'd be fine with it. While I'm alive, I'd rather it be the gradual replacement, because I would like to upgrade. That'd be cool. Eventually become an android. That'd be nice. Yeah. I mean, hey, I still feel good for her though, because she's turning her life around. It's just I kind of disagree on that one part. I do think they are upgrades. And that they are still you. More specifically, the elements that are not me. No, they are you. They can be you. 
Go back to Utah. Whatever. Fucking religious nut. This is the East Coast hacker for liberals here, and we actually enjoy freedom. Go back to Utah with your 12 wives and non-evolutionist theories. Fucking sell it. Book of shit. Masticator, and he responds with something very... At least it seems like it'd be eloquent. Probably dug a lot out of that small spat. It's probably not quite there. Sorry that you feel this way, Mr. Strice. Truly I am, and although I suspect I am merely wasting my breath, I would still like to try and better expose you to my point of view. That's honestly a good stance to take. I mean, Taggart still rubs me the wrong way. I think he rubs everyone the wrong way. For most people, anyways. You kind of get what I mean. Because it just rubs you the wrong way, you can't... Or at least I can't quite put my finger on it. Now, the uh, social enhancement og gave me a detailed profile on his personality, and that explained exactly why he rubs me the wrong way, because he's actually a prick who likes to lord over others and point out their weak points so he can feel superior. But that's not obviously apparent without that. So it'll be hard to call him out. I do believe in God, as you so rightly point out, and the value and sanctity of the human body. Although, and although this may be a direct result of my Mormon upbringing, it's not the reason I advocate an end to human enhancement technologies. The basis for my belief, for my thesis, and indeed the reason I founded the Humanity Front in the first place is because of what I personally witnessed in the months following my wife's death, and then for years afterward during my practice as a professional psychologist. Might I suggest that you reread my book, and then maybe you will revise your assertions. I would have suggested you simply read the book in the first place, I doubt you actually have. But that would have been rather insulting, wouldn't it? He still does it there, though. Regardless, I... Just passive-aggressive prick. Regardless, I admire your dedication to pursuing what you believe in, and pushing this discussion forward with those who see things differently. Whatever, you fucking... We're just not... Save in your inbox. Again, I'm telling you we should wait until the vote. I understand the value of prudence to a point. This is a mistake. We have to act now. We have to secure this as soon as possible. What happens if we get caught? We won't. There's confident and there's presumptuous. I'm telling you it's out of your hands. And I'm telling you the population will listen. We're ready. This is a mistake. So I think he was in. That conversation tells me that Taggart was in on this. Definitely putting up a, a front. And there's the fucking Nigerian scam again. Oh, hello there. They aren't here. Oh. We get more XP but less credits. Oh. I think that's something. Anywho, now I am immune to all the CC in the game, I think. I'm sorry, all the standard CC. It's non-standard CC, like a scripted pinning thing, and that, that, that's obviously going to happen. So yeah, I get an extra five seconds of sprint, which will, will be something. Opposing thing would make me think twice about getting an augment, but hey. Looks like one of the possible good endings is we no longer need neuropazine. It's a reliable source, goddammit! Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. 
He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You've got to help me find Jacob. All right, this sounds like a guy I should kill. But if I can talk him down and make him change his ways, then all right, that's there. But I probably won't because it's a video game and that requires a lot of writing and coding and implementation and scripting and things and branching paths. That's just too much effort for most people to bother putting in, especially if they're putting out a product. Nikki, look, I don't work for the city anymore. And I don't exactly have a lot of time right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it. But you kill a cop killer and you get a bounty. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but if Jacob really is going after us, then he's as good as dead as far as I'm concerned. You take him out, the bounty is yours. To be honest though, I'd rather see him rotting behind bars. If you can knock him out and give him to us alive, I'll try to sweeten the deal. Well, there's a reason to knock him out. I have to admit, Nikki. I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly! And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perk facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all I know so far. But it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. Oh, that guy? You know, Back at the basketball court? Playing Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution. Did he have the shirt, too? What? Anyway, he practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight! It has to be! Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy, hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me and... and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! I kind of want to just snap at him, but oh, wait a minute. Nikki, you're a cop. Act like it. How are you going to earn your stripes if you shit yourself under pressure like some wet behind the ears rookie at the academy? Fuck. I... You're right. Damn it. I... I'm sorry. I... I lost my head. I'm still in the game, Adam. It won't happen again. You can trust me on this. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably going to be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, and he wouldn't risk hanging around the bank or transit station. They've got those security cameras with facial recognition software. And the precinct is shut down thanks to the internal affairs investigation. That leaves the precinct alleys and sewers as the most probable places to find White. I'm going to get on the horn and update my CO. Can you check those two locations? And Jensen, be careful. 
White may have left booby traps lying around. He's like that, now that I think about it. No problem. Anything else you can give me? I, uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king. I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes and ears open, I'm sure you'll find him. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. That's a good reason not to kill him. That is legit a good reason not to kill the guy. You do not want a martyr on your hands. Killing a guy may take him out of the picture forever, but like a martyr is going to make things a hell of a lot worse. Alright, now I can read that comment. I saw it as soon as it popped up, but when it wasn't short, I'm like, alright, I'm going to have to wait till I'm done with this combo. Hmm. Yeah, that's something I can't say I looked into. I didn't have too much interest other than the story or two I heard about it. It was, it was, it was like a kid with a heart transplant. And after the heart transplant, he started speaking a little differently. And when the parents of the guy he got the heart from talked to him, he said that was one of the words the other guy used to use a lot. Which indicates that Memories aren't all housed in the brain. It could be some housed in the heart and potentially other parts of the body. And I would consider memory as a part of consciousness. Or at least I think it. That felt like consciousness to me. I'd be surprised if there's any kind of concrete stuff done on it because, I mean, to really prove it, you'd have to kind of dissect a human, maybe stitch them back together, which, I mean, find any society in the modern day that would be okay with just doing that over and over again to prove a point. <laughs> it's going to be mostly conjecture. Just in case I picked up anything that I could loot, let's go and. How may I be? Let's see. Nah, no new guns. I need new ammo, though. Crank darts. That's it, though. Be sure to tell all your friends. Not much, man. I haven't gotten a paycheck from Sarah since I woke up. Also, the muscle memory thing, it's not... I know it's the term that we use, but muscles aren't don't store memory. There's no memory in the muscle. It's a yeah, the guy who was here. So that toxic gas are standing next to you though. Okay, that helps so goddamn much. Alright, let's just pop that there. Was it was some it was some part of the brain that's responsible for that, unless it was. I think it was some part of the brain. That's towards the where it connects with the spine. 
that basically can... I guess you could say it has, like, emergency authority or something like that. So, like, when you put your hand on a stove... I, I want to go that way, but there's fucking rioters. Yeah, it's like I'm remembering the example I had about that, or rather that was used to teach it to me, or at least I read about it. it was, you know, put your hand on a stove, a signal gets sent to your brain, or gets sent through your nervous system, and before it even, like, reaches your brain proper, it, a signal already gets sent back just to take your hand off there, and that's the reflex. And it's also similar to where, I think, a muscle memory is stored. Or what we call muscle memory. Just, I forget if that intercepting thing was like as part of the neural network, so it doesn't actually really hit the spinal cord, or maybe it does. Or if it was like the part of your brain that's like right where it connects. So a signal gets there first and can bounce back faster than if it had to go through the frontal cortex and you actually thought about it. Now if... yep. Three meter jump. Wait, these guys have augmented arms, man. Neat. Alright, let's make it fast. There's only one, right? Thing in here. Ugh. <laughs> did I leave this open or did the guy leave it open? That's my question. Experience points you have the one woman. Uh, wake up, Loom, on your secret masters of planet, imagination, secret society with a global reach, and an unparalleled scope for the future of humanity. Imagine a power group known only as Illuminati will work from the shadows to control the course of the world for hundreds of years. This is not fiction, this is fact. Illuminati are forever hidden behind cat's paws and double blinds, and they seek to manipulate the globe through exploitation of prominent organizations. Despite what they say, the United Nations, World Bank, and European Union were all originally created as vehicles to further the ambitions of the Illuminati and army under its control. The Illuminati aims to bring about a world of peace by replacing sovereign nations with an Illuminati-run one-world government. They want control of us all. Oh. Yeah, I was busy looking at the walls, I'm gonna say. All the mines I've seen so far have been on the walls. 
bench my peripheral vision can be lacking at times, right? How far back was the save? Because I actually do want to check that. Alright, I should make a save here, then load autosave. So he knows how far back. Nope, okay. Oh, I see the light there. Is a wall mine. Yeah, as long, okay, so their motion sensor. Yeah. I mean, it's tempting to believe. There isn't much proof of it, but it's tempting to believe. Because it's the whole makes the world black and white and all that simpler to understand when you realize there's one big force that's conspiring as opposed to just a bunch of other forces all that happen to be conspiring in it relatively to some other angle not actually cooperating high time we had another surprise desk inspection on the patrol floor near the computer login passwords Captain Penn Yes, Mr. Winchester, I am serious. We pay you to move stuff around and not give your opinion on civic administration. This case follows what we call cold cases, and we have tons of those. Truth is, they would never be investigated anyway, let alone solved. Rarely able to deal with current crimes, for Christ's sake. We take the spaces available to us, that's all, and use the sewer entrance near the morgue. We don't want to make a scene. It was $25.99. Excuse me, sir, but are you fucking serious? You really want me to bury all those files in the goddamn sewers? You can't be serious. Is that what you guys mean when you say that guy has a sealed record? Damn, man. Damn. Also, there's a wall behind this door. Bet they weren't thinking I'd actually look through the grate, huh? Hey, free frag mines. In fact, you said, remember, that there might be a way to, like, disable these frag mines. Without blowing them up. Maybe you got to thinking about how you could do that. And, like, crouching doesn't work. But there's walking, and there's crouch walking. So I thought, what if I do that? And it works. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got traps. And they were all wall mines. I really hope I can find a computer. Okay, what just got alerted? Oh, I found the computer!
Uh, honestly, I don't explore on the web as much as I used to, so I can't really confirm or deny your claim there. Oh, hey! I can get their mainframe. Fantastic. Access granted. Uh, he wants them brought in a live camera failure. Alright. So I'll disable all the turrets. Yeah, that guy's obbed. Yeah, that's also true. Up, brothers and sisters, the state's troop may be tightening around people's neck, but it can't choke everyone. Gang war under like Rose being provoked by the government to distract people from their nu nuclear silos or building below our feet. FEMA's new intelligence wing of the Department of Defense, but I'm about to repay them. Oh, yes, I have lip rare 88 explosives for the cause. Join me and help strike a blow against the government and their neo fascist foot soldiers. Together, we can reshape this once great nation. Decent rhetoric. Not great, but decent rhetoric. Alright, what can I. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. No? Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now I get to sell one of those because I had to scrap the last one. Uh, he got some, like, pocket secretary somewhere. I mean, he never got to arm it, so that's fine. But, like, I feel like if I start to hack it, it's going to get armed, too. Oh well, one thing left to do. Either hope I have the passcode or just hack it fast. Yeah, I remember it like I remember there being like a rough I never actually learned what the formula was, but just that there was a rough formula where based on how many people know a secret, about how many years it'll take for that secret to get out. And of course, the fewer the people the longer it takes for the secret to get out. So, like, having a huge, huge-ass conspiracy isn't really gonna... fly. Yeah, no code. Alright. Hopefully I don't f Oh, I can hack the mainframe, that's great. That's plenty of time. Access granted. Okay, where does this go? Ah, no trespassing. Really wish I'd just fall. Like, freaking seriously, that'd be so much faster. Give me so much more control, even. What the hell, man? Like, I, it, would, it might have been like the same amount of time just to go down the ladder and oh, hi, never minds. Ah, 
Now that's a landmine. Also a wall mine. Ah. Ah, how preposterous. Okay, I'll pop the two hypo stems, I guess. Yeah, 150. I mean, hey, free frag mines. I bet you'd sell these, Alyssa, because you're doing non lethal. I'm gonna hold on to them, though. Free explosives are free explosives, man. Saw the red light and I'm just like shit. Am I gonna trigger a mine just by going up a ladder? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, how's the map and look? So that's where I entered around that corner. Okay, it's just here. What's up with the red light, though? Where's the red light even coming from? I don't hear a beeping, so it's probably not a mine, but who knows, man. Who knows? Uh, Alright, I'll have to come back here for that stuff, then. Where is here? Oh! Oh! I know here. Okay, now where is the place I can sell stuff? I'd go to either that apartment or to the gas station. I don't know that way. I really thought I'd never invest practice points into- Ow. Took off one hit point. Never thought I'd invest in any points into sprinting stuff, but hey. I did just to see what, would, what it would be like, and I, I was disappointed. But now I also have a reason to invest in more other things, so rip. The only way I can see it plausibly working, the whole Illuminati thing, is if it was like how it seems here in Deus Ex, where it's just the CEOs that are in on it, and nobody else, because that keeps the group kind of small, but the power and influence still relatively large. And even then, I mean, that, that still is like a lot of people. And to hold that secret over hundreds or thousands of years, that's... How may I be of... Eh, that's not, that's not too believable. Alright, come around with them. Shotgun, 750. 1250! Sure to tell all your friends. All right, now how in the bullets did I get back to where it was? Come on, memory, don't fail me now. I got some guns to pick up and sell. Maybe a couple of trips.
Yeah, a couple of trips. I mean, that's done. A machine pistol ammo. But there's another machine pistol. So let me tell you, a machine pistol is worth more than machine pistol ammo. I pick up a machine pistol while holding a machine pistol. I just get machine pistol ammo. So I have to come back here again. Maximizing cash. Was it to the right? It was not to the right. It was to the left. one more trip to you so I have that machine pistol look at that 16 16 which is 380 always a play so I gotta go back for that machine pistol then I'll be good all right that's fine Now we take a right. Now let's compare this to like ladder. Nah, falling is faster. It doesn't feel faster though. And that's the last bit. some 10 mils, we got some energy bars, we got a lot of EMP mines here though, that's nice. That's nice to see. Ooh, stun gun darts. Uh, uh, I should maybe sell some of these energy packs, but I don't know. Uh, maybe I should. It's like a lot of slots, honestly. Alright, I'll uh, move that up there. The frag mine's there, I guess. Now I have kind of space for another gun. Right, the only one that actually takes up three slots is the rocket launcher, right? So... I... Well, I'll put that back up there. I do this. That gives me a very long space that can maybe fit a sniper rifle in there, even. Oh wow, it's 2257. Okay. You know what, I'll finish the side objectives, and then we'll get on to the main objective. This is... Yeah, this, uh, this absorbed me. I got immersed. How may I be of set? So... 
Ammo. No ammo. Weapon. Gas weapon. And that's all I have to sell. Sure to tell all your friends. I also do want to double check this shit. Like, what do you even have to sell? Target leading, cooling, first round, exploding rounds, armor piercing. Yeah, fuck, fuck off with that. Rover, you got no ammo I want. See you soon. Alright, now I make a save because I just sold all that jazz. And then we get to do this. Is this really the way to- oh right, it is, he's at the, he's at the center, ain't he? Hold up though. Let me just... here. Okay. I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Yep. Yeah, like we talked about, here's your cut of the Deadpool bounty. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit! I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie's sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. You're on 92 to Central. Come in, Central. Over. Nora 92, this is Central. Over. That code 10 I called in earlier. It's actually gas ordinance. We need EOD down there for cleanup, stat. Tell first response to keep their hands off, and we should quarantine the block just to be sure. Over. 10 4, Nora 92. Thanks for the heads up. Stand by for updates. Central out. Nice. They actually are taking them seriously. Alright, this is. This is totally one of the things I really wanted. Now I have a suppressed combat rifle. And I want to whip this thing out. There's a cop right there. I just want to look at it, man. There's cops. Well, cops are on my side. If I get armed, they're not going to be on my side. I know a back alley. That's right here. Right here. Oh, that's beefy. That is a beefy suppressor. That is a burrito suppressor. Jeez. Jeez, man. That was a burrito suppressor. Ah, <laughs> uh, that feels a bit comical, honestly. Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just way too big of a suppressor. <laughs> I know suppressors that big exist, but man, I was not expecting a suppressor like that. here and we get to see what's up uh -huh. oh I can't take the mainframe access 
Access granted. Hold on, this looks a lot like a certain somebody's depart or certain somebody's apartment. Looks a lot like a certain somebody's apartment feeling comfortable with that, but there's nothing to loot and nobody in there, so all right. That discomfort will not last long. And it's already going. Man. Okay, I know it's unupgraded, so how close was the pistol? Max fire rate, so I get to add fire rate on to the combat rifle. Reload speed's almost there. Damage output could use some more ammo capacity, too. Alright. Capacity more so on the combat rifle than on the pistol. But oh well. Got on the pistol. So I just want to get that maxed. Alright. Here's where I save for the last time tonight. Thank you so much for watching. And have a good night. See y'all tomorrow, if the cat wills it. <laughs>